Hello everybody, thank you for joining in to another Moist Tea Gaming video. Here we have the choice in the new campaigns which are available to us to either start as the Allies or the Central Powers. Now I reckon a lot of people are going to be doing the Allied Nations. So I think I might do the Central Powers. Simple as they lost the war. Let me know in the comments if you're going to be... If you want me to do a Allied Nation campaign playthrough at the same time, I can do that. Let's do it. Love it on. Standard difficulty and we're going to start in 1914. Let's do it. Radio, the start of the German campaign in 1914. Yes, I've got the game early as I pre-ordered the game. So, you can enjoy it. So, here we go. Germany was surrounded on all sides by powerful enemies. War was declared on Russia, but Germany pushed through Belgium to capture Paris in order to remove... Russia's ally and keep the war to one front. This, however, triggered Britain's defensive alliance with Belgium. Unable to reach the sea to outflank Britain, Germany was forced to dig in. That's when the trenches first started. In an unparalleled act of humanity, British and German soldiers agreed for a ceasefire, uh, exchanged gifts and had a game of footy on Christmas Day and then after that it was just a bit bitter by that point so you can see that yeah by this point yeah you know you get that feeling of it wasn't quite as serious to, you know the soldiers didn't think it was their fight essentially but obviously as time went on, it got a lot more bitter. So this is the first time I've ever had a look at actually playing as the Central Powers. I don't know if it's just the Germans or if we have the Austro-Hungary Empire in here as well. Germans. More Germans. And we have no artillery to speak of. We've got Brussels here, which is a big area. So we have Luxembourg there as well. We have obviously taken some of France at the beginning. This is where our supply, not supplies, our fresh troops will come from. German conscript elite German troops and standard German infantry. So the conscripts are relatively cheap. Uh, I can't I can't tell you the stats I'll, I'll have to look it up but we're gonna want the elite troops in the areas where we are going to be attacking that's where you want your best troops and we're gonna need to reinforce some of this line as well not too sure exactly where I'm wanting to go if I was to take Verdun we all know what kind of hellhole that was that would actually free up tile for me so I'd have more troops to spread around where I wanted that's definitely a possibility looking down here looks like there's already been an attack on this territory here but that is also a possibility or because I do believe British forces and colonial forces come out of Calais. So, another option could be to push to try and take that port. And that might just wipe the British out from joining the fight. As I do not believe there is another area in which they can actually join the campaign. Now, if we can do that... That will be brilliant. I'm not too sure if taking this part of Belgium would take away the Belgians from the fight either. I'm not too sure. But I think that might have to be the strategy that we go for. 
let me know what you think in the comments. I think I'm going to do that. I might push on Verdun gradually and also go for this area here. Now, in the last few videos that I did, I got pronunciations extremely incorrect. So let's just have a look at what somebody said about what I called that. Okay, I found the comment. So somebody called Helmet Fire said to me, Wipers, or oh, that's what I called it before, is pronounced more like yeep for future reference. Okay, so I wasn't looking at the screen then, we've just gone there. So this is apparently called yeep. Right, we'll go for that, shall we? If I get any more pronunciations wrong, please do correct me. There's one thing I would like to at least attempt to get correct, or you can just laugh at the the way I call it. I called it Wipress before, but apparently it's called Yeep, so we'll go for Yeep. Uh, let's have a look at the technology before we start. Uh, while we're looking at, we've got 8,000 quid in the bank, and we've got 2,000 global supply. Looking at the... Uh, yeah, as it's at the very beginning of the war, we don't really have any at all. So we're going to have to have a quick gander at this. So we've got engineering, which is more to do with artillery, uh, timed shells, advanced artillery, tank reinforcement, tank warfare, lots of tanks and repair tents and stuff. Trench is more to do with different trenches and better trenches. You can get advanced trenches, trench reinforcement, advanced MGs, barbed wire, the bunkers. That also links in with the gas, poison gas. Flight, you've got the aeroplanes. These all make it so you can have airstrips. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, bomber improvements, all that kind of stuff. The, the planes can be very effective in combat. Now, if you've got men running across the fields, you could get one plane in and that is it. So that, that mission there, that would be great. That's the harassment one. Bombers, we're going to have to get them at some point. So far, it's just fighter planes. So I'll leave that for now. We've got infantry. This very first one increases standard infantry soldier health by 25% and then you've got grenades increases the damage and so on then you've got gas masks you've got medical triage somewhere flame war flare that's always fun and you have the intelligence branch this is where you could do some spying on the enemy and letters from home increased morale citizen support propaganda yeah, all the stuff that goes on in the background generally is in this section. Then you have logistics. For me, I think this is going to be one of the more important ones for the time being. As here, you can have the supply depot, which I'm going to get. That makes it so that you can do more things in battle throughout. I'll show you that later on. Then we've got the wartime donations, wartime taxes and wartime bonds so these will generate well give us more cash each turn currently we get 1000 cash each turn if I can grab these very early on that means I can get 1600 quid each turn which the earlier I get that the better as you need cash for the planes the tanks the big artillery guns and so on so that is a must from me you also need it to purchase purchase additional supply and build more buildings so this is going to be my first priority i'm going to save up the tech points so that i can get these next so we'll go for that and now i need to start redeploying the troops let's have a gander already i've moved the troops into position However, as they've only just moved there, it's going to be another turn before I can actually use them in combat there. So here, as I was describing with the uh, 
supply situation. This has 300 supply. It will go up when I have more of these uh, troops actually instated there. And with that supply, you can call troops in. You can build more trenches and so on and so on. Supply is everything. Now, if I was to build a supply depot here, it increases that supply amount. And it also makes it so that we can tap into the global supply which we can purchase with monies and there's a tech somewhere to reduce the effect of how much that actually costs somewhere so we'll see i also made a bit of a stupid mistake i clicked on this dude here who was in colomar and accidentally moved him out so i don't know if the french can just literally walk into this territory now so before the war's even begun for me, I think I may have made a silly mistake. But we shall see. However, because we're going to be taking Calais, first thing I'm going to be doing is getting a supply depot in these three regions as I plan to push from this direction. So let's go for supply depot there. Here. Yeah, so this one goes up now, supply pipeline. That is what we can take from the global supply section which is expensive but if we are on the attack then that is definitely needed might even attack this region I think there's only one there is only one right okay first attack is going to be on this section here we're going to attack it with these divisions that are already here we've just got more men in the area I don't think anywhere else on the front is necessarily vulnerable. I think we're all okay, apart from the mistake that I made here. Troops have been redeployed. I'm going to try and have it so the conscript troops are in areas which I'm not necessarily too bothered about. Then I'm going to have the elites in where I'm attacking, and then infantry all on everywhere else. So we'll just see how this goes, but we'll attack Verdun at some point. Should we attack Aris? I think we should. Let's give it a go. Okay, so looking at it. Computer reckons this will be a stalemate. We shall see. Attack supply cost, 100. Never seen that before. On this, we get a brief look at the map. Of what it's going to be. I think this might be us. Not much of it that we can actually use. The Aris region was evidence or has evidence of human settlements dating back to the Stone Age. Okay, that's new. Aris has been a source of conflict throughout history, including the Battle of Aris in World War One, which I suppose is what we're going to be doing now. So. This is what we've got available, 60 companies of standard German infantry, 3 batteries of light artillery, 3 batteries of heavy artillery, and 850 supply available. And this is what we start out of, it's currently nice snowy weather, and as there are no combats actually done yet, the landscape is absolutely pristine. How nice is that? It won't be for long though. I can tell you that now. All of the combats that happen scar the territory permanently. So if we were to do a big underground mining explosion, that would stay throughout that campaign always, always just always there. It doesn't go away, including all of the little artillery shells. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up some basic trenches. The enemy do go on the attack as well, so I'm going to have to defend my position. And then we will go on the attack ourselves. Alrighty, so this is what I have decided to do. I have trenches as far up north as I possibly could. Filled with troops ready to go this is going to be my baseline of attack this is also defending this line here but the light artillery is in because so i want to do the suppression the heavy ones are good for doing more damage to 
the men, enemy men. However, it also costs more to fire them. This here is the other set of lines on the west and then the central ones here. I figured that the central command is fairly protected anyway and I don't think the AI is going to be doing any sudden rushes for that. So I fully expect the enemy to do come and have a gander. They have lots of trenches here. Bit of a odd trench arrangement but it is what it is. They have an observation balloon there and there. I was going to put them in so I could actually see what was going on. But it turns out the range is a little bit limited until I get more technology involved. So I thought I will be okay without it. As it costs 150 supply to actually get a balloon in. Now supply is already limited. I want to use that supply on getting more troops in and firing these artilleries. As you can see, I've placed them over here because I have the best coverage, I think. I can get pretty much anywhere on them. So I fully expect the AI to come and have a gander very soon, but I don't know from which direction that will be. From the looks of things, C is going to be a good one for me to attack which is where I've stationed extra troops for an assault and then I'm going to start working my way over so once I've taken this I'm going to wiggle my way over here and then start wiggling up this way which I can attack from both sides down here and that side hopefully we shall see I'm just going to send one dude up and have a gander. I'm not too sure when the enemy is going to come. I'm sure they do though, no matter what you want to do. You're missing us. Sit them behind this train and see what happens. I fully expect the enemy to have MG nests. There. That's one MG nest. Already murdering some of the men. Great. That is the risk that you do without having an observation balloon. But we know there's at least one there. There are more trenches here which we couldn't see before. So that is definitely interesting. I think we're just going to have to go for it. Let's give it a go. Yeah, they're firing from the trenches. I need to shoot them before they murder me. These guys are knackered. Send them back. Send them back. Excellent. We'll get it in there now. Another machine gun at the back. Haven't seen an attack from them yet, which is interesting. Need to keep that machine gun firing. Just sending the men from this trench up, but I'm gonna have to stick some more men in this trench to defend from the enemy. As they haven't actually done a counter attack just yet. So these are gonna go forwards. Let's have a look what's going on. Get in that trench. Just get in the trench. Come on, lads, get in the trench. Need that machine gun gone. I need more men up here, desperately. We got in there, we're done. Sure where they're going. Oh, they're going in that fire position there. We need to get out of there. Oh, machine gun, damn it. 
Der Feuer auf diese Positionen vorbereitet. Zurück der Grenze. Einleitung. Bereit auf der Feuer. Ja, schön. Ich brauche das. Achtung. In Stellung gehen. Wir haben neue Befehle. Wir müssen gerade da. Wir haben neue Befehle. Wir haben neue Linie. Warten auf die Linie. Wir Doesn't look like the enemy are going to be going for an attack. Mannschaft, Quite interesting. We can just run around. Soon sorts them out. We're also starting to run out of time a bit. I'm going to need more troops up here. That is for sure. British are just running around now. Hopefully my men will decide to shoot them. Not entirely sure what's going on there, but we are now capturing this. Oh, we're just having to run in the trench, let's see. Okie dokie. So, we need more men. Can call them from down here, which is what I'm going to have to do. I cannot leave that area unguarded just yet. Wir sind eingetroffen und warten auf Befehle. Bereit machen. An die Linie. I'm going to have to keep hold of the half weakened troops as well. I may Achtung. send. Oh, they're coming from bombardment over here, which is interesting. Wir haben neue Befehle. Wir haben neue Befehle. Warten auf Befehle. Das ist du. Du kannst hier hin. Still fully expect the enemy to shoot at me. I need more troops up here before I start an attack. That is for sure. Enemy will have lots of men stationed in here, I can imagine. Get those over there somewhere. Okay, we've now taken this area. Achtung! Wir haben neue Befehle. Get these in the trenches. All right, we're going for another attack. Some artillery firing already there. Hopefully, I didn't do that too early. We've got men from the back coming up. There's a machine gun that is not suppressed, but it cannot shoot me from that direction. That is lovely. There are the soldiers. Keep them suppressed. Oh, that can shoot me. Ah, <laughs> never mind. Let's just get in there. That's it. I have more troops waiting to get in. Let's just run some of these in there, shall we? And we've got the two half damaged ones ready to go. The enemy being a knob over there. Send these troops up. That MG nest is done. That's soon going to be done. Excellent. We've taken this quite well. We've still got supply to bring in more troops. Can I actually retreat them when we come back like that? Okay. So you need to get out of there. You're knackered. You need to get out of there. You're half blown up. You get in this trench here. And let's get some more troops in from this direction. We're going to be going for this. I want everything. That worked really well, actually. So let's try and replicate that. Right, here they go again. They're off. Taking this trench now, which is the main one. And they're going to go for this over here at the same time, I think. We'll take care of those artillery guns as they are passing. Can I actually see what's in there? But something. That machine gun, man. 
Oh, they're all over here. Oh, they're getting butchered. Come on. This may not have been a very successful attack. Move them in there. I need these to move up. Get more troops in now because I don't think we're going to have enough. That is a failed attack. No, can't do it. We lost that. Need to go for that again. That's not good. Supply is severely depleted. Yes, it is. If this attack fails, that's it. I'm going to have to give it a bit more, I think. So it looks like they've got more men, more down here. That, that machine gun, that was nasty. I need to stop that. Hopefully they will not have recovered in time. We have new get these in a staggered formation. And get these also befehle. in a staggered formation. Once they get there, they move quicker in this column. And they take less damage when they're like this. I'm going to have to go for it again. Hopefully without getting too murdered. I'll set this up. Okay, off we go again. Get that machine gun under control. Send these more further forward. Damn it, it's that area down there, isn't it? Hopefully that is enough. Just get in there, please. Need to keep this artillery down. What's happening with this bit, though? I think we're in. We are definitely in there now. We move around there. That machine gun is done. I could attack from the south, actually. You get in that trench and take that. You move around here as well. Okay, okay, we can now send in these men. Get in the trench somewhere, that will be lovely. This is just going to be a bloodbath now. Need to actually properly start thinking about getting hold of A as well, or oh, this isn't going to be a victory. We have neue Befehle. Let's pause this and have a set this up. Right, we have pushed back the enemy and taken ground. The people back home see this as a success. Let's have a look. Oh, we did it. We got a great victory. It cost us... Oh, wow. 
We lost 9,000 men there, 9,500. And we inflicted 4,000. Ouch. What's this? Earned by capturing and holding all the control points on the map. Yeah, efficiency medal. Yeah, preservance granted to those that kept their army morale as high as possible. I didn't realize we did that. I just know that we lost lots of men. And we've knocked a star off it. Oh, that's so many men gone. Right, let's uh, have a look at the details. Ouch. Yeah. Company replenishment cost. 12,000! Are you mad? Man, that is not money. That is not nice. You see why we need the money? You see? To the world map. See what the damage is. Right, well, we got a great victory. I can't pay for that. Oh, no, it's 1,000. Oh, I thought it was 12,000. Dear me. So, 1,280 quid. That attack cost me replenishing the troops. The global supply has also gone down. We did knock one star off this area, which means we now only have to attack it successfully one more time uh, to get it. National will has changed, plus eight for us, that's great. Minus 18 for the allies. That won't do them any favors at all. So I think we're gonna attack this again where did we attack that from? Oh, it was here, wasn't it? Must have been. Yeah, because the um, this here, region morale, has gone down. Because battle fatigue, the more times they are in a battle, they get knackered. So if I was to attack Verdun, for example, one from there, 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 and there, these would be absolutely tired by the time... Uh, the third and fourth attack comes in. They'll probably be on about 50% morale, so they'll break a lot easier. Now, if I can... Yeah, okay. Well, we're going to leave this video here. Let's see if I can take this area, Aris, next. I hope you stick around. I will be doing a full campaign gameplay of this game. It will advance... Be sure to keep into tune on how the technology will affecting the game. That is going to be a big one. Keeping money is going to be a big one, as we just saw in that battle there. Especially when you're on the attack. Now that was just attacking with what we had floating about. I'm going to have to... I don't know if I will be able to win that, actually. Not too sure. We'll soon find out. Stay tuned, thank you for watching, and I will see you in a bit.